Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here, welcome back to another Anthem video. And in this one, I want to talk to you about the post-launch roadmap for the game. Bioware have just released a series of images, which is essentially a gameplay calendar showing us some of the things we can expect to experience and have added to the game following the launch on February the 22nd, or the 15th if you're playing Early Access. So in this video, I want to go over that and address some of the questions we've had recently. So if you do enjoy this, then a like will be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions, and also if you haven't entered our new giveaway for this month, we are currently giving away a console of your choice. If you win, you get to choose between an Xbox One X, a PS4 Pro, or a Nintendo Switch. The link to that is in the description box down below. Now, to begin with, if you guys have been following some of the kind of recent discussion, then it's fair to say that one of the concerns on a lot of people's mind is the end game content. If anyone's played Anthem, then I'm sure a lot of you guys share the same sentiment that the game is incredibly fun to play. But of course, in a game like this, in a sort of looter shooter, one of these never ending worlds, you kind of want to have something to do towards the end of the game. And in light of some of the content coming out and some of the announcements, we of course know that at launch there will be three strongholds, there'll be contracts and legendary contracts to deal with, there'll be crafting, there'll be free play. But beyond that point, then there might not be as much to do in the end game. And while yes, admittedly in games like this, they do continually evolve, and for me personally, I've been playing you know these kind of games for quite some time now, so I'm kind of used to the fact that the game at launch isn't necessarily the game in its fullest potential, because these are worlds that do grow. I also understand at the same time that some people might want to sort of wait to see exactly how much content there is to determine exactly when they want to jump in. So with that being said, I'll turn your attention to the gameplay calendar. The launch of the game is of course, or the official launch, is the 22nd of February. Of course, if you have EA Access or Premiere, there is a little bit of early access on the 15th, which is next week by the way, so I'm super excited for that. But following that, they have plenty of things planned. And do keep in mind, all of this stuff is going to be free. They said all these updates to the game, all these additions, all these events, all this stuff will be free. You won't be buying a DLC pack for this, this will just be added to the base game. So. In March 2019, which is of course, you know, not too far considering the game launches at the end of February, then March is not that far away. They have the first of three currently listed acts, which is called the Echoes of Reality. Now, if you look at this first image, you will see there are three acts listed, plus over on the far right hand side, there are some more arrows to indicate that there will likely be more content following that. But for now, we have one called Echoes of Reality, which is detailed down below, plus there are two more. First one has an image of some scar, the second one has an image of some of those ancient carvings, so it's kind of hard to even work out exactly what they will be, so for the time being let's focus on what we do know, Act 1. Act 1 is comprised of three core updates, plus a lot of things listed down below. Update 1 is of course an evolving world, this is, as mentioned, one of those kind of games where the world will be changing, there'll always be new things to do, new things kind of being added, so as part of that, albeit a little bit vague, the world itself is going to evolve from launch throughout these different acts. Plus there is also the Stronger Together update, and there is also the Cataclysm. Now the Cataclysm is the thing worth calling out. EA dropped today the second part in their gameplay series, and in this one they spoke a little bit more about Endgame. And while for the most part the video goes over stuff we already kind of know about, some of the things you can do, contracts, legendary contracts, strongholds, it does give us a tiny bit more information on Cataclysms. Now if you guys played the demo this past weekend, you would have seen a very early glimpse as to what a Cataclysm can do. Now, yes, I appreciate that the event was kind of hyped up and it wasn't exactly what people were hoping for, but they did say on Twitter that was just a tease of some of the stuff they can begin to do. So if you were playing the demo, you would have seen a storm beginning in the sky. And if you watch the most recent gameplay trailer, which I'll link down below, it details that cataclysms are these big world changing events. They're time limited and they can actually cause physical manifestations to occur. And this can range from extreme weather to hostile enemies showing up throughout the world and to mysteries that we need to solve. So, you know, these are supposed to be more than just like a storm showing up in the sky. It might get to the point where the actual complete weather and the landscape could well change and suddenly become a lot more hostile. So that's something we can expect to experience during the first update. However, in addition to that, if you look at the bottom, it actually lists that amongst all of this, we will be getting new events. So of course, that icon there is the world event icon. So I imagine that means that within the world, when you're in free play, there will be more world events to do. There's also quality of life changes, which admittedly they haven't linked just yet, but do keep in mind there have been lots of things that people have been asking for and the developers have said on Twitter that they would like to do them, but of course when you get this close to launch there is only so much you can do and can fix, so that's probably where they'll work some of those stuff in. They'll also be adding new rewards, so this could be additional weapons, additional abilities, additional different things like cosmetics, different things like that, but ultimately more stuff for us to earn. They will also expand the progression system, now again, 
there's no details in this, so it's kind of hard to speculate, and I don't really want to sort of dive too far down the speculation path, but when you do factor in the way we progress our characters is obviously ultimately through abilities and our gear and components, then I would imagine that's the sort of thing they could do to expand that loot pool. There will also be new strongholds, which of course, you know, being one of the core pillars of the end game basically means that every time you get a new stronghold, you've got a completely new set of stuff to run through and kind of add to your end game loop, so to speak. So that's definitely really exciting because although there may only be three at launch and I've only played two of them, they are really fun to play through. So definitely adding more of those is going to be a welcome addition. They will also be adding guilds and leaderboards. They have stated that at launch. You won't have guilds, they do have the alliance system, which is basically a system whereby by playing with people, either friends or just people frequently on your list, it essentially goes towards the alliance system, which is a system whereby you earn more coin. And that's the in-game currency used to buy things like the cosmetics and the colours and paint jobs. So that's of course the launch system, but they do plan to add guilds and leaderboards following that. So that'll of course be a welcome addition. There'll also be new missions. And that icon is also a contract icon. So that could also hint at, you know, missions and contracts. So again, adding more to the kind of overall end game loop. And of course you have the Cataclysm. So that as a whole is part of act one, which is the Echoes of Reality. And that is supposed to be dropping in March. Now do bear in mind, given the game launches at the end of February, I'd imagine that we would probably start seeing this somewhere towards mid to end March, but either way, that's not too far following launch. Even with the current end game that we know about, it's still gonna keep you busy at least for the first few weeks to kind of, you know, run through the story, start grinding your gear, start getting your masterwork and your legendary setups. And then you might get to the point where you're like, all right, cool, what's next? So hopefully by that time, we'll be getting very near to Echoes of Reality and then you have more stuff to dive into. So I guess in that respect, you kind of liken it to a model sort of like Monster Hunter in that, you know, you play through, you grind, you get your gear, and then you chill for a little bit, there's an update, you drop back in, and of course you then run through all the brand new contents. But anyway, that's it for the time being. I want to give you guys a quick update because I appreciate there have been a lot of questions about Endgame, about whether the game will have a long life, whether there'll be things to keep you busy. So if you are on the fence and you want to know a little bit more about what's coming, then this is what we currently know. Of course, if you guys are still hesitant, then of course you can just, you know, hold tight, wait, I'm going to be playing. I'm super excited for the game regardless, so I'm going to be covering it. So if you guys want to watch some videos to better kind of make up your mind, that's completely cool. But for those of you guys that wanted a quick breakdown, then that is everything you need to know. If you have any questions, again, drop them down below. But otherwise, stay tuned for plenty more Anthem content. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.